boys and girls. It's so good to see you this morning. I'm Miss Denise and this is Ollie the Crow and we are going to start a new week learning all about a new theme and I can't wait to tell you. But before we get started we need to say our sing our hello song. Will you sing the hello song with Ollie and I? Okay are you ready Ollie? Okay Ollie said he's ready. You guys ready? Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello to you, hello to you, hello to you. Hello to me, hello, nice to see you, everyone. Oh, that was good singing, wasn't it, Ollie? Yeah. Okay, we're learning a new theme this week, and it's pets. We're going to learn all about different kinds of pets. And while you guys um, go through the lesson with me, I want you to be thinking about what is your favorite pet. If you have one, tell me what it is. And if you don't have one yet, but you want one, tell me what your favorite pet would be. Okay? Sound like a deal, Ollie? All right. Okay. Well, I want you to watch your um, fun video. And in the fun video, I want you to look for a pet that barks. A pet that goes woof, woof. Yep. Can you do that? Okay. Enjoy your fun video. We'll see you in a minute. Did you find an, a pet, an animal that barks? Did you, Ollie? Oh yeah, of course. Tell me them. Yep, Ollie got it. Did you guys get it? Did you say a dog? Yeah, yeah, that one was pretty easy, wasn't it? How many of you guys have a dog as a pet? Oh, I see lots of you are raising your hand. I have a dog too. I actually have two dogs right now. So yeah, as my pet, along with our cat and our bird. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know, Ollie, we got a lot of pets, don't we? Okay, well, we're gonna put Ollie down for his morning nap, and then we're gonna get started on our lesson. And when he wakes up, he can come join us. Okay, Ollie? Okay, Ollie says, okay, he's tired. All right, so we're gonna talk all about different pets. And I wanted to show you a couple of pictures. This picture right here shows a whole bunch of different pets. Pets come in different sizes, different types, different colors, don't they? Yeah, you can see in here, there's a fish and there's kitty cats. Oh, look at that big dog. That dog looks like a horse, doesn't he? He's so big. I think that's a Great Dane. Here's a parrot. Oh, and a snake is a pet. And look, there's a little dog. So you got a big dog up here and a little dog here. Look, you can see a bunny. There's a little mouse. And, oh, that's a ferret. There's a ferret right there. I think I've had every pet that's on this picture, except I've never owned a ferret. But all the other pets I've had before. I know, I love pets, like I said. <laughs> okay. Today, we're going to concentrate on dogs. And here is a picture showing that dogs come in different colors and different sizes too, just like the pets do. And then the next few pages, pictures, I'm just going to show you some of my favorite kinds of dogs. This dog right here, she is a picture of my dog, Harley. Yep, that's, that's my dog, Harley, one of them. This dog right here, that's a little Schnauzer, a little miniature Schnauzer. I grew up with little Schnauzers. I've had probably four little Schnauzers. Can anybody tell me what dog he is? He's a bulldog. Isn't he cute with all of his wrinkles? 
bulldogs are sweet. And there's a little poodle. Yeah, that's a poodle. That's a cute dog too. Oh, and this dog. This dog um, rides with the fireman on the fire truck. Do you know what kind of dog he is? A Dalmatian. Very good. You guys are good at that. Awesome job. Okay, and then here's another picture that I wanted to show you. This is the same breed of dog. It's, it, it's a lab, but look at all the colors that that breed comes in. Yeah, so even in the same kind of dog can be different colors as well. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Okay, we are going to sing a little song about how to take care of a pet. Here, I'm gonna have you guys over here. Oh, do you see all my pets right here? Look, I've got a, a big parrot right here and a smaller parrot, kitty cat, a mouse, a bunny, a snake, a goldfish, and of course a little puppy. Okay, so this is how our song goes. It's really kind of cute. It's how you take care of a pet, okay? And you guys can sing along with me. Okay, we're gonna sing our song. Are you guys ready? All righty. Goes like this. Oh, every pet has certain needs to be the best pet it can be. Oh, a pet needs food and water so it lives life happily. So your pet needs some water and some food does. You want to sing it again? Okay. Oh, every pet has certain needs to be the best pet it can be. Oh, a pet needs lots of toys so it lives life happily. Yeah, you should always have lots of toys for your pet, shouldn't you? So they can play. Okay, you want to do it again? Okay. Oh, every pet has certain needs. Oh, to be the best pet it can be. Oh, a pet needs a bed for sleeping so it lives life happily. Gotta have a bed for your animals, don't you? Although, my pets, my dogs and my cat like to sleep in my bed with me. How about you? Yeah? Yeah. They like to be with people, don't they? Okay, you ready? Wanna do it again? Okay. Oh, every pet has certain needs to be the best pet it can be. Oh, a pet needs exercising so it lives life happily. Definitely need to exercise your pet, don't you? Yeah, that's important. Keep them exercised. Okay, you want to do it again? Okay. Oh, every pet has certain needs to be the best pet it can be. Oh, a pet needs some grooming so it lives life happily. Especially if they have long hair, you need to brush them, don't you? If they have short hair, like my two dogs, you don't have to brush their hair. Okay, we got, I think, two more. You guys ready? Okay. Oh, every pet has certain needs to be the best pet it couldn't be. Oh, a pet needs bones to chew on so it lives life happily. Now, if it was a kitty, it wouldn't want bones. No, but a dog definitely loves bones. Okay, we have one more. This is my favorite one. You guys ready? Let's sing it really loud since this is the last verse. Oh, every pet has certain needs to be the best pet it can be. Oh, a pet needs lots of love so it lives life happily. Do you think that dog has gotten lots of love? Look at all those kisses all over his face. I know. I think that dog's gotten lots and lots and lots of love. Oh, you guys did great. That was a fun song. It's a little bit hard to sing that tune, but once you get into it, then you can remember it more. 
Okay, we're gonna sing another song because you know me, I love singing songs. I know. This is about five little dogs. Look at my five little dogs are over here. There we go, that's better. Okay, so it goes like this. Five little dogs sitting at the door. One ran out, and then there were how many? Four. One, two, three, four. Well, four little dogs are barking up a tree, and one chased a cat. And then there were, he's chasing the kitty cat. Now how many is left? Three. One, two, three. Good job. So this one goes, three little dogs are chewing on a shoe. One fell asleep. And then there were, how many is left? Two, one, two, good job. So two little dogs were having lots of fun, but one went home. I gotta go home, bye. And then there was just one. We had five, and now we only have one dog left. Well, one little dog sitting in the sun, he went to find his bone. Where's my bone? And then there were none. No more doggies on the doghouse, are there? No, that was fun. I love doing little rhymes like that. It helps you learn your counting and your numbers and stuff. And we are going to play another little game. And this one has little dog houses and they have a letter on them. And I want you to tell me if you know what that letter is. H, good job, H, the letter H for helpers. And what about this one? O, O, yeah, O for oceans. What about that? Do you know that one? I, good job. I for what? What did we study with the I? Insects, very good. What about this one we're gonna learn today or this week? P, -p, -p for pets. Yes, P for pets, good job. And F for the very first lesson, farms. Good job. Mm, remember this one? V for a volcano. That's right. That we learned when we were doing our dinosaurs last week, huh? What about this one? What letter is that? C, yes, C for colors. Good job, C for colors. And that is going, oh no, one more, one more, I'm sorry. This one is N, N for nutrition. Good job, N for nutrition. Okay, so here are our letters, our dog houses that have letters on them. And here is our little puppy. Our little itty bitty puppy is going to be hiding behind one of these houses. You can't look. I want you to look at my other pets over there, okay? No peeking, no peeking. Okay. Little puppy, little puppy, where can you be? What house are you hiding behind? Hmm, let's see. Where do you think the little puppy is hiding? You think the N? You think N? I don't know, let's see, he could be. Oh, uh, no, he's not behind the N. But good guess, good guess. Well, little puppy, little puppy, where can you be? What house are you hiding behind? I don't know, let's see. You think P for puppy? And and pets? I don't know. Let's see if you're right. 
Oh no, but that was a really good guess. Hmm, where could the little puppy be hiding? I don't know. You think H for the for the doghouse? H for house? He could be. Could be. Let's look. No, but that was a good guess. Very good thinking. Where could that puppy be? I don't know. Let's look at the letters that we have left. We have O, I, F, good job. V, and the last one is C. Little puppy, little puppy, where can you be? Behind which house are you hiding? I don't know, let's see. Which one? You think, oh, the eye? The eye? Okay, let's see, it's under the eye. No, he's not hiding behind the eye. Oh, puppy, 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 where are you? Where do you think the puppy is hiding? You think the F? The F? He could be. Let's see if he is. You were right. Our little puppy was hiding behind the doghouse with the letter F. Good job. You guys did that game very well. Pretty quick, too. Okay, we're going to read a really fun book. And this is called Love Me Gently. And it is by Lisa Winbrink. Love Me Gently. There's the title page. Okay. Hi, my name is Henry, and I am so excited because my family just adopted a new puppy. We named him Cooper. Having a puppy is fun, but there is a lot for both of us to learn. Most importantly, if, if I love Cooper gently, then he will grow into the best dog ever, and I will have a terrific friend. So I got a little puppy named Cooper. Oh, wow, puppies sure can eat a lot. Mom says it's because they are growing just like me. When Cooper is eating, I stay far away from him and his food bowl. He may think that I'm trying to take his food and growl at me or even try and bite me. That might hurt. Instead, I wait until he is finished and that makes him happy. Just like puppies, or just like me, puppies need to learn a lot of new things. We are training Cooper to go potty outside. But if Cooper makes a poo-poo or a pee-pee on the carpet, I don't get angry and scold him. That might hurt. Instead, I patiently guide him where to go, and that makes him happy. Oh, puppies are cute just like me. Cooper is soft and cuddly. He especially likes it when I rub his fluffy tummy. I never pull his ears or his tail, and I don't squeeze him too tight. That might hurt. Instead, I pet him tenderly, and that makes him happy. Just like me, puppies have lots of energy. Cooper loves to play, but, when, but he gets tired very quickly. And when he is sleepy, I let him rest or even take a nap. I don't poke him or wake him up. That might hurt. Instead, I wait until he is ready to play again. And that makes me happy. Cooper has baby teeth, just like me. Dad said that he likes to chew on things to make them feel better. Sometimes Cooper takes my shoes and my toys to chew on. If Cooper makes the wrong choice, I don't hit him. That might hurt. Instead, I give him his own toy 
or a puppy bone to chew on, and that makes him happy. Just like me, puppies are curious about the world around them. Cooper especially likes to go for walks in our neighborhood, but he moves a bit slow. I never pull him to go faster. That might hurt. Instead, I walk alongside him, letting him sniff and explore as we go. And that makes him happy. Puppies love to play just like me. Cooper likes it when I toss a ball for him to fetch. I never throw a ball at him. That might hurt. Instead, I toss the ball so that he can run and get it. And that makes him happy. <coughs> Puppies are fast, just like me. If I leave the door or gate open, Cooper could escape and run into the street and even get lost. And that might hurt. Instead, I have to remember to do my part to keep him safe. And that makes him happy. <coughs> Puppies are smart, like me. They can even learn new tricks. Cooper is learning to sit and stay. Sometimes he gets confused, but I don't shout at him. That might hurt. Instead, I nicely ask again or gently show him what I want him to do. I give him a yummy treat or a pat on the head when he does something right. And that makes him happy. <coughs> oh, puppies need to eat special puppy food made just for them. I would like to share my favorite foods with Cooper, but it might not be good for him. It could even give him a tummy ache, and that might hurt. Instead, I make sure that the only thing that he eats is his food and not mine, and that makes him happy. <coughs> my family named Cooper for a very special reason. He wears a dog collar with his name tag at all times. If I, if I take it off and he gets lost, he may not make it back home. And that might hurt. Instead, I always leave his collar on so that he will be returned home to my family. And that makes him happy. <coughs> Just like me, Cooper is growing and learning every day. If I am kind, patient, and gentle with him, he will become a well-behaved dog. Cooper is my best friend and a very special part of my family. He loves me as much as I love him. And that makes us both happy. <coughs> Wasn't that a good story? All about taking care of your pet dog. You should do things like that to any of your pets that you have. Take care of them and love them gently. Okay, we are gonna do a craft. I'm gonna show you what it is. I've already made my craft ahead of time because I had to paint, um, but I will show you all the things that you need. We are going to make this cute little dog out of a paper plate okay and I'll put him up right here and I will guide you through the things that you need to make your doggy okay you're gonna need a paper plate like this you don't have to use a paper plate if you don't have one you can just get a piece of um, paper a circle make a circle out of it and then you want to, if you want to paint your puppy, I painted mine brown. I just have a big brown spot on his face because that's kind of what my dog looks like. Then you can do that. Or you could paint the whole thing brown. Or maybe you want a red dog. Or maybe you want a yellow dog. You can paint it whatever color that you want. And then you're going to need some construction paper. And um, I used black 
for his nose and all you have to do is just cut a little circle out and you can glue it right on there with your glue stick and make his nose. And then I used brown, and you can use any color you want, for his ears. And you just make an oval. Cut out an oval, and I'll show you how to do that real quick. You don't even need um, to draw it on. Just fold your paper in half like this, and you're just going to cut around. And watch. Look, there's your oval. And then you're just gonna bend it down like that and you would glue it on to make his ear. And then I just use googly eyes. You can use googly eyes for the eyes or you can draw on eyes or you can make little circles and glue them on, whatever you want to do. And I put eyebrows on my, my dog too, just cause I like eyebrows, I think they're cute. Um, but again, you can make your dog however you want. So I would love if you could have your grown up um, post a picture of the dogs that you guys make. I would love to see all your creative ideas because you guys have a lot of creative ideas. I love watching and seeing all of your um, pictures. Oh, well, I can't believe it is time to go. We probably ran over and if we did, I am sorry, but I love talking about animals. Yes, you too, Ollie. Yeah, because he is an animal. He's a bird, isn't he? He could be a pet, couldn't he? That's right. Most people don't have crows as pets, though, because they live out in the wild. But some people probably do. Yep, like I do. I have my pet, Ollie. Yeah. Okay, remember, I asked you guys to think of what your favorite pet is. So can you tell me what your favorite pet is that you have at home? Oh, I hear fish. A lot of you have fish, yeah. And dogs. Oh, I hear bunnies. Yeah, you have bunnies too, yeah. A turtle? That's a good pet too. What is your favorite pet, Ollie? Mmm, Ollie likes fish. Do you like fish? Yeah. He thinks that they're pretty how they can swim in the water. Yeah, they are very pretty to look at. Okay, well, we are going to sing our goodbye song. Will you sing with Ollie and I? Okay, are you ready, Ollie? Okay. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you. Goodbye to me, he. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Okay, Ollie, give your kisses. Okay? All right, you guys ready? Mwah! Mwah! One more, Ollie. Mwah! Oh, good one, good one. Will you guys blow Ollie some kisses so he can catch them? Okay, are you ready to catch Ollie? All right, let's look, look, look. Oh, there's one. Oh, good job. There's one, oh, you got it. There's one over here, oh, yes. Rub them on your cheek. Good job. Thank you guys for the kisses and thank you for watching and we will see you tomorrow with another lesson all about pets. Bye-bye.